Hello and welcome to the first in my series on the OCRAS Chemistry Unit 1. Today we're talking about the atom. Now what does an atom look like? Well this is a helium atom and inside its nucleus it contains protons, positively charged pa particles and neutrons or that have no charge and electrons which have a negative one charge. So paper proton has a plus one charge N for neutron has a zero charge and E minus for electron has a minus one charge. Definition to remember here is the atomic number and that is the number of protons inside the atom and mass number is the number of particles, protons and neutrons combined in the, in the nucleus. You can actually find out how many protons and neutrons are in elements if by if you look on the periodic table so take sodium it has a molecular mass or mass number of 23 and 11 protons so if i take 23 or 11 from 23 i will get i will get 12 neutrons and no, knowing knowing this, I know that the most common isotope of sodium is sodium twelve. What is an isotope, you ask? Well, we'll move on to them now. Isotopes are quite basically atoms of the same element but they have a di different number of neutrons. Some are radioactive, some aren't. So if you take carbon 12 here, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 protons. Now isotopes always have the same number of protons but they always have a different number of neutrons. If you look at carbon 13 and they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 neutrons. And if you keep going to carbon 14, one extra neutron is always added. So def definition is isotopes are atoms of the same element with a element with a different number of neutrons. Ions are just charged particles that have had an electron either removed, positive for removed, so we'll put removed here and negative for electron gained. So if you look at so, so sodium's outer, or, outer orbital, it only contained one electron. So if I decided to draw a dot and cross diagram, you may have come up come, come across these from GCSE. If you haven't, I will make a tutorial on these shortly. An empty orbital would be for uh, for sodium, and a plus to represent that an electron has been removed. Chlorine would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outer electrons already existing, and it would have a full shell with the eighth electron coming from the sodium. Now I've got a couple of qu questions for you. Uh, a quick, uh, a, a, really, a really, really good website to use for the periodic table if you don't have your data sheet on you is called ptable.com. It's very, very useful as it contains information on the different elements, and you can just quickly look up the the um the different the different numbers for your for the elements if you don't have a periodic table to hand because periodic tables are very cumbersome to use at times but this one's quite useful so take magnesium it has 12 protons and a molecular mass of 24 I know uh, the o OCR board do tend to have it the other way up with the molecular mass being on the top and ma and the proton number being at the, at the bottom but if you if you can ha if you can ha if you can handle the key 
the set said said here then you can have a you can have a go at these questions if you wish if you're if you're stuck and you want me to walk through then just j just um skip the pause I will pause for about five seconds so please have a pa pause the video and have a go okay hopefully you tried those questions um we'll go through, we'll go through them now so For ion, we have have a molecular mass of fifty five. So to find the number of neutrons, you would take twenty six away from fifty five. That'll be twenty nine neutrons. And number of protons is pretty obvious if you if you read the key very carefully you will have twenty six protons. Now, no knowing that that proton number of protons is always proportional to the number of electrons. So say if I have my helium atom again, I will always have two electrons on the outside, along with two neutrons in the nucleus. So. Well, except if they're, if, they're, if they're an isotope, but if you have two protons, you always have two, two, always have two electrons. So that's a good way to remember it. However, if you look at this cal calcium, calcium ion, you'll notice that two electrons have been removed. So if you look at calcium's proton number now, it would be 20 minus 2, because two electrons have been removed, making it 18 and for the neutron number, neutron number is always the same, leave it at 19 neutrons. For fluorine minus now we have 10 neutrons, 10 neutrons and 9 protons and since an electron has been added, we can see this by the minus charge, we will have 10 electrons. Now I'm going to give you a bit of a challenge now. Whoa, Will, stop giving me challenges. That, that was already hard enough you say. But I will, I've only got a couple. So this, is, this, this requires you to use the periodic table to try and determine which atom contains 13 protons, 14 neutrons and 13 electrons and 18 electrons, 18 neutrons and 16 protons. I'll give you a pause and you can come back if, you, if you're stuck. Okay hopefully you had a go at those questions. If, if you um, if, if you found it quite, diffi quite difficult then it's an ion not an atom my, my mistake but you should have found that sulfur was a two minus ion as there were eighteen electrons there, and the first one was Ali Moon, and that was quite a straightforward one. So, in conclusion, what what you should take away from this is the structure of an atom that a nucleus always has a number of protons and neutrons inside of it. If it's an isotope, it will have a different number of number of neutrons compared to protons. But the number of protons is always proportional to the number of electrons on the outside. So I will, if I had three protons in my nucleus, I will always have three electrons. On the default atom, unless they are ions, they will always have the same number of electrons. Um, you should t take away the three, def the three definition, the four definitions. Isotopes or atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. Atomic number is the number of protons inside the atom. Mass number is the number of particles, protons and neutrons combined in the nucleus. And an ion is a positively or negatively charged atom or covalently bonded group of atoms, a molecular ion. I'll talk quickly about molecular ions. If you have two bonded atoms, we'll say NaCl, this is not a molecular ion, but if you have charges that do do not cancel, then the whole molecule 
will become charged. But more on that on, on molecular ions in later tutorials when I go when I go on to electronegativity. That'll be a lot of lot of fun. I do hope you found this video useful. If you didn't, um, please leave a, a, um, a few few kind words in the comment section below and I'll try and do my best to rectify them. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.